Okay, guys, uh, Tech Bravo here from the global headquarters of Bravo Technologies. Um, I've been seeing it pop up that people want to use an IP camera uh, or a network camera for their lasers uh, in uh, Lightburn. And I've been looking for a, a few solutions. I found this real convoluted way to use VLC and stream it to this other plug-in that'll turn it into a virtual uh, USB. And then I came across this. Uh, I just tried it and it works and it's cheap. It's 13 bucks for the license. Uh, go to www.ipcamdriver.com. Go to the downloads. Uh, it's for Windows or Mac and download it. And once you do, you'll have this run IP cam driver. And let me see if I can drag it over here. Okay, uh, it starts off with just a choice for static image, and that's a little confusing because if you go into settings, you can set a static image, and that's what it's going to stream, uh, and that's not what you want. So go over here and hit the pencil, and that's your settings. And after you click it, it takes just a minute to pop up. I just clicked it, and nothing happened. You may have to touch it in a certain spot. So we're going to add a new cam. Uh, I already happen to know the IP for my camera, so I'm going to set it in there. Uh, admin password we'll call it cam1 and hit OK and now it's still on static image you need to go over here and choose cam1 it's connecting streaming is started okay now I am going to open up Lightburn <coughs> And camera is none. I'm going to choose Send Stick IP Cam Driver. And there's my network IP cam right there. So it does work with it. Uh, of course, that's not going to show up good. Um, my Logitech's covered up. So, and, and that is picking up USB. Um, I haven't checked the latency uh, to see if there's any lag or anything in it. Uh, I guess I could just watch it for a minute or put another camera in with a little more activity. Um, so that may be an issue. Let me look at it real quick. It looks like there's quite a bit of latency there. I'm watching somebody walk across over there and it's really uh, got a lot of a lot of stop motion in there and you may need to set your uh, streams I don't know if it uses the master stream or a sub stream so you will need to set your resolution and stuff like that play with it um, honestly I don't know how good IP cameras will work for full stream like this unless you have one that's maybe h264 or something um, but pulling the the JPEG stream or the motion video stream, the MPEG stream from it, uh, you're going to get quite a bit of lag. Uh, this is a 1080 camera, um, and it's pretty pixelated right now. That kind of stuff you're going to have to work out. That's going to be a function of the camera. But as far as getting an IP camera to connect to Lightburn, uh, this software right here will do it, and it'll do it for a fair price. So hope that helps. Tech Bravo out.